Hello everyone and welcome back to IMO Reviews. Today we are discussing season three of Barry on HBO. Directed by and starring Bill Hader, Henry Winkler, Stephen Root, Anthony Corrigan and Sarah Goldberg. Barry tells the fictional story of Barry Berkman, a professional hitman who follows his target to a drama class and finds himself distracted and wanting to pursue a career as an actor only for his past life to catch up with him. But before we go any further, could you be a dear, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does help me and the channel massively and we thank you if you do. There was a lot to love about Barry season three. I thought the atmosphere and the themes that are discussed in this series were absolutely outstanding and totally recognised to their fullest. The writing in this show has always been extra sharp. Everything that's set up always comes right back around. Situations are often put on their head, roles are often reversed so that the shoe is on the other foot. The writing is really something to behold here. Another big one for me would be the sound design. My God, does this show really know how to have some fun with its audio? It knows exactly when it needs music. It knows exactly when it doesn't need music. It knows exactly when to cut the sound entirely. It knows what sounds worse than it looks so that you don't actually see it happening. You just hear it and your imagination makes it 10 times worse. It's masterfully done and really quite inspiring to look at and learn from. Nothing here is done by mistake. And I probably should have said this in a synopsis if some of you don't know. This show is actually a comedy. It is a black comedy. And I still thought the humour was absolutely brilliant, very witty and clever. Although this season did dial it back a little bit in the humour department. This season feels much more focused on actually telling the story than it does trying to make us laugh. But those hilarious moments are still there and they did still make me chuckle. And I'm more than happy to trade out a few jokes if you're going to tell a really profound and hitting story which I think this show does every single time. Performances are also absolutely outstanding. Bill Hader consistently proves himself to be much more than just a comedic actor and some of the names in this show might not be the biggest names but they always give big performances. I really love the characters in this show. They are so fully recognised to a point where I feel like I know how they're going to react and respond to situations before it's even happened because I get them. That's how well written and developed they are. And touching on those profound storylines that I mentioned earlier, I thought this might be the most profound season of them all. This was some seriously hard hitting drama that left me scratching my head and thinking about it. It will make you want to ruminate on things like human behaviour and psychology. It's brilliant. Now if you can't tell from my massive list of pros, I absolutely love this show. To a point that I consistently struggle to find flaws with it. Every single season has been pretty damn perfect, in my opinion. It's my little gem that nobody else seems to even know exists. And I love that it feels like it's made just for me in that sense. But it does also worry me that the show always kind of feels like it could be ripped away from me and cancelled at any given minute. Thankfully, HBO seemed to realise what an absolute piece of gold dust this show is because they just keep on renewing it. Even if I'm the only person who seems to watch the damn thing. But this season I did notice an ever so slight flaw. And I do have to be careful because of spoilers, I am going to tiptoe as lightly as possible here. In this show, when things are about to go down or hit the fan, it's often left on a cliffhanger and a very exciting one, which leaves you thinking, oh, what's gonna happen next? But when they did that this season, I have to admit, I almost immediately cut that thought short because I realised I'd seen this one too many times now. The show is called Barry, so if Barry is going to have a face-off or a showdown or find himself right up against a brick wall, we're only three seasons deep. We're going to find a way to get out of this one way or another. And that removes the stakes just a little bit for me when this show has always had very high stakes and always felt like anybody could get it at any time. So when they did that this season, yeah, it didn't necessarily land for me because I kind of felt like I knew where it was going to go and how it was going to turn out before it even happened. I'd seen this trick be played out one too many times by this show. But even then I have to withdraw the complaint because the showdown, the face off, I won't spoil it, didn't go down at all how I thought it would. I thought it was done superbly with outstanding dialogue and masterful performances from the two actors involved. And again, it decided to be way more profound and hard hitting than it did be shocking. And that's what I love about this show. So even my complaint here, 
I kind of have to remove it because they proved me wrong. They didn't do what I thought they were going to do. I'm going to give Barry season three a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I continue to be in love and be amazed by this show. It's an inspiring watch for somebody who wants to write and create TV shows. Watching this makes me think, wow, I hope one day I can make something as good as this. For a show about a guy who wants to be an actor, it quite ironically manages to hit its marks and do it effortlessly. Check out this show. I promise you it's well worth the time and the investment. And if not, more for me. Thank you for watching this review. Please be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And please do hit the comment section as well. Have you seen Barry? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Take care and I look forward to seeing you on the next review.